Hello everyone. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BFTTrading.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate you how to retrieve fields using lookup to create a new case. So let's understand this scenario first of all. The scenario here is as you can see here that's the visual force page and in this visual force page we will be going to create a new case and there are a few details like priority status case origin and one more section we have added that is account section and in this account section we have a lookup field now either user can specify the account name directly and then click on search or user can click on this lookup option lookup field and from that lookup field a dialog box will open a window will open and from that window user can select the account names available account names and select any specific account name and as soon as the user specify the account names here its associated website and phone number will be displayed here automatically and after that when user click on save the record will be saved successfully into a case object or a new case will be generated according to that account name so that the scenario let's see how to complete this scenario by using a visual force page so first of all let's create a visual force page so i create one a new page apex slash and pull i'll give a name to this pull look up pull look up example create this page uh, expand it and here we will be going to write the code so to write the code first of all let's I'll add a controller standard controller standard controller and it will be associated with a case and because I would like to implement the functionality from an account object as well so that's why I use here extension and I'll give a name to that extension as pull lookup example apex colon form then apex colon page block and I set the mode to main detail give a title title is equal to create case then in this page block I write apex colon page block buttons and I specify apex colon command button value is equal to save and action is equal to this action will be associated with this standard controller apex colon command button value is equal to cancel and action is equal to cancel then apex colon page block section and give one title to this title is equal to detail details or detail it's up to you and then apex colon input field value is equal to I write case it should be case dot priority I want three fields priority origin and status so I specify priority then origin and status status then after this page block section we need to create another section another section so one more section apex colon page block section and within this section I specify title to this section title as account and I give one ID is equal to ID is equal to account now why I am using this ID this I will be tell you when we 
specify the action support with this then I write here apex colon input field apex colon input field value is equal to case dot account ID and then I am going to we need to add one action support so apex colon action support event will be event is on change event on change event action action is equal to account selected now this action is not available so we need to specify this action and I use here re-render re-render is to refresh basically this is for refreshing so I write here I want to refresh account or I want to refresh this section that's why I have specify here account comma msgs this is a message section which we will be going to define a new section and status is equal to state then we have and here so after this section has been closed then I write fx colon output field value is equal to case dot account dot website and we want website and phone number to be populated automatically so case dot account dot phone and apex colon action status this is to display the status start text is getting details and id is equal to stat this is for changing this status so this is the visual force page and now when we save it then because this extension does not exist so I create this extension and in this extension we need to specify the code for searching the records so it is asking for this method so we create this method and this is the default extension this is the default method so expand it and we have pull lookup example then in this pull lookup example in this apex class I am we implement our own business logic or custom logic basically and here I specify private apex pages dot standard controller st d c t r l and in this standard controller we specify std ctrl is equal to controller so whatever value is store coming here it will be stored into this std ctrl and next we need to specify the action so as you can see here we have an account selected this action so this action we need to specify so here i specify action public void account selected and in this account selected we'll be going to get the data so here I specify account selected and in this account selected first of all I created a new instance of the case to get the records and then I check if not a string is blank dot CS dot account ID it will look for the website phone from the account where ID is equal to CS dot account ID so this is a SQL query and it will get the website and phone from the account where ID is this one it is equivalent to the case account ID else it will set the account is equal to null and here if account is equal to null 
if it is not equal to null it will display the records and it will display the messages so let's go and test it so the programming is done coding is done now it's testing time so in order to test it i'm just going to add the account name here so for example i specify the priority is high case origin is phone status is new and i either we can click on this account name we click on this option and we'll get all the account names you can see the list of accounts or also we can specify here bisp and if i click on outside we can see we are getting an error message that multiple items found select from drop down or click icons to ref refine search why this is coming for because there are we have got multiple accounts multiple account names with bisp so we need to specify any one of them then only it will be display here the website and phone associated with the account or we can click on here again i'll clear it and then look for account again and now if i select express logistic and transport you can see it's getting the detail and it will display pull the website and phone and it will display the website and phone number here of this associate this particular account name and now click on save and the case will be generated and it will be stored under cases successfully you can see the case has been generated that's the case now case id and that's the case number so like this scenario how we can pull the data by using a lookup field by using a look on option on a visual force page that's all in this video if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bisptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on salesforce you can contact to us for a customized training on salesforce till then have a nice day ahead goodbye